Today we are here, one hour outside of Kigali, at a farm that is called I and J Harvest. We are here with Emma, and Emma has led us around and has shown us how she's actually producing her crop. Her staple crop is beans, and these beans are special because they are particularly nutrient rich with iron and zinc, and they are climate resilient. And that is the reason that it's particularly attractive for the smallholder farmers that she's working with. My name is Uwera Emma, a CEO and founder of I and J Harvest. It's a seed company doing seed multiplication for beans, soya bean, and maize. Beans are a crop for women, and I wanted to help them. They are growing varieties which are not resistant to drought or pests and diseases. So far, I have reached more than 65,000 smallholder farmers. Before I would reach maybe 3,000 farmers, selling 5 tons, 10 tons, now I'm selling up to 40 tons. It's a big achievement to my company. My name is Yvonne Uwase Munyanjeri. I work for SEAT as a senior research associate. We focus on bean research. I support farmers through capacity building. I make sure that the technologies that we have get to farmers. We combine crop information with climate information and make sure that they know which type of bean variety grow in which area and when to grow it and how much, how many kilograms should they expect to harvest. We do know that only 0.8% of overall global climate finance is actually benefiting smallholder farmers. And that is far too little because smallholder farmers feed 80% of the sub-Saharan continent of Africa. We are, as the Ban Ki-moon Center, very interested to support smallholder farmers because they are the ones that are hit hardest by the climate crisis. And it is the women and the youth that suffer the most. So we work with agri-champions, agricultural, knowledgeable experts who are doing their share to produce climate-resilient crops. Um, we are the Rwandan Youth Agri Champions in Banking Center for Global Citizen. All of us, we are there to make change in the, the climate adaptation. My name is Zeli Drugut. I'm the founder of Sela Africa. I come from Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm a Youth Agri Champion with the Banking Moon Center for Global Citizens. This program has really uh, given me uh, skills and also exposed me to so many things, especially on issues to do with climate finance, the challenges that smallholder farmers have. No one wants to accept the reality that climate change is already happening and we are living within this crisis. We need to see concrete steps being made. We need to see reforms being taken to accelerate land ownership. We need to see a whole new paradigm approach by academic institutions and scientific research institutions to involve local communities. We cannot keep on complaining about these issues for a very long time because the climate crisis is not waiting for us. They do need more um, support by the international community, so from policy level as much as from research level, but also even in the extension services and in the field work that they are experiencing day in, day out. 